Hello again viewers, I nearly missed this in Ayanapa. How nice are these restaurants here? They've got traditional Greek music on and then they've got some dancing on later on. Looks lovely. I've seen the staff interacting with some of the customers and it's a type of place I think if you go in there you'll go back again. I've not had the food but I can just tell by looking at it and the way the customers are coming out and thanking the staff that it's quite a nice restaurant. Anyway, we're on the side streets just off kind of Main Street um, and the Strip, Bar Street really. What a nice restaurants around here as well and hotels. I don't have time to head down that way. We'll wait and see. Maybe next time we'll come back. Let's head down this way. I'll show you some of the nice restaurants down here. I just happened to be walking back up to my £17 hotel and uh, I noticed this wee side street and it is lovely here. Nice sign, isn't it? Now, you'll not miss this place. It's called the Opas Taberna because the entrance is quite memorable with the, obviously the lady there and obviously there as well, <laughs> the moustache on so you can see they've got traditional Cypriot and Greek tavern Opaz looks lovely doesn't it? let me know in, in the comments, is it MD Brin here? does look nice Italian next to it looks lovely as well let's continue So this one's called All Retrova, I think it's called. Yeah, looks lovely inside as well. <laughs> That's the new Famagusta Hotel over there. There's a couple of really nice places on the right hand side here as well. River Rock, I think that's a pool through there. No time to be going through there, viewers. Looks nice. Freshly made sushi in here, sushi fans. Freshly made sushi. Looks a lovely bar inside, look at it. Looks really nice. Modern kind of vibe to it. With all the bars here, I've noticed a lot of them have got uh, the shisha pipes are popular here as well. Let's continue. If you want a game of poker, there's a hidden gem for you there. The Poker Hold'em Texas Federation up there. Did not expect to see that, viewers. I did not. It's nice there, eh? It's good film by the week. It's quite early, so later on it's maybe busy with people behind the bar mixing cocktails and stuff. Looks a very nice place. So that is called River Rock. Let me know if anybody stayed in there. Let's continue, viewers. If I remember my way back here. Nice restaurant over here. Let's quickly go across. Need to watch out for the cars. Going right here, I think. Yeah, going right. Right, let's cross over. Just after about 8 o'clock, so it still might be a wee bit early for all these places for dinner. Although saying that, I'm starving and I can go for dinner right now. I need to head back up to the hotel. I need to get videos off the phone because the story just ran out. That's what I do, viewers, in case... People ask me kind of questions sometimes. How do I do so many videos in a day? I basically do as many videos as I can in a day and then upload them to YouTube instantly. I don't edit anything unless I have to, unless it's copyright music or something. I upload them right away to YouTube get them off my phone, once YouTube confirm they've been uploaded, I schedule a time and it can be any time, it can be like a dummy time, it doesn't have to be get out tomorrow and I can schedule it for next month yeah there you go, poker fans you did not expect that did you? nearly missed it found it for you um, so it was quite funny because I was in Fortaventura and I met David and Harry the Nomad Brothers, check out their great channel. David's got his own channel as well. If you're interested in going to Fortaventura, they've got some great videos. And I was showing them, obviously, my YouTube studio app. Guys who do YouTube will know what I'm talking about. And, and they were just laughing because they could see videos scheduled for the next month and stuff like that. So I do as many videos as I possibly can. And then I get them off my phone. And when the phone's full, I've got problems. Then I have to wait on them uploading and get new videos on for you. And I've got about eight minutes storage left in this phone until I have to get other stuff off the phone. So that's the plan. A couple of nice places up the left hand side here. I'm heading back to the the digs. I can't even remember the name. I've got the key in my pocket. It's next door to Craig's Scottish Bar. That's all you need to know. And Senior Frogs, or what do you call it? Is that what it's called? Senior Frogs, yeah, I think so. 
big gift store in there selling everything you possibly can need. Did I tell you, I went into a Chinese shop the other day in Paphos. They sold everything in the world apart from a UK adapter. We only had like a three plug adapter and it was like dearer, it was like 10 euros. Nice in here. What's it called? Sage. Beautiful. Look, you can greet you at the, at the front as well. Lovely. The wee cute again. Fusion cuisine. Oh, nice, nice. Here's, here's another one, the liquid cafe bar. Nice. What we got over here, viewers? Quadro, Italian. Another nice looking one. Food smells amazing here, all these restaurants. Right, so we've got a few shops here. We're just coming up to. I don't know the name of the street actually, it's just off Main Street. Quite close to Bath Street. It's not by these people here. I jumped in the road there to get by and then nearly fell here. <laughs> I definitely having some balance problems. I think it's old age. Well done, I thought I dropped something there as well. <laughs> this is not going well, viewers. Oh no, I never dropped some of my laces loose, that's what it is. I could, I could feel something in my foot and I was like, what's that? <laughs> right, it's in a nice new place here in the corner as well. Now I've done a video here earlier on. During the day it doesn't look that great this street when you go down. A lot of kind of chains, stuff like that, KFC, Pizza Hut and all that kind of stuff, right? But see at night, I and Apple looks really nice at night because it's all lit up. That's a big difference, it looks a lot nicer at night. So that was the video I done earlier on. Some of the restaurants down there have got queues to get in. Earlier on there was nobody in them. So basically it comes alive at night, I and Apa. I've done a video earlier on. Probably done it at a disservice, you think the place is dead. But at night, a lot of people come out, obviously. There's the famous I and Apa sign over there. I think this is where you get the bus as well. Um, possibly to the airport. I don't know about Pretaris, we're going there tomorrow. I'm heading back up this way. Up to... I call it the strip, but it's called, was it, what's it called? Bar Street? It's called the strip. Somebody beat the horn for no reason there. Right, let's continue. Hard Rock Cafe and the Rock Shop. If you seen my video earlier, I was talking about that. <laughs> Square bar up here as well. Let's continue. There's nobody in the Hard Rock Cafe earlier on. Let's see, is there more people in? Certainly is. More people in, definitely. Wonder if they've got actual live music in it. And upstairs bit as well. I can see there's a sky bar up there as well. Up the top. Nice. I'm yeah, glad I found that wee street because it'd be a shame to miss it. Now hiring rock stars wanted viewers. And you can get a messy burger there as well. Did you know that? Interesting. Okay, so this place again looks totally different at night. Square bar, looks lovely. Not quite sure where I'm going here. Around that way, around this way. Probably get busy later on. Um, it's still quite hot. I see people, some people going about with jackets and jeans and stuff. It's like, I've got shorts and t-shirt and I'm hot. It's nice here, square bar. Live music starting. Oh, I might come back here, viewers. That's a definite, that's a find. The square bar. Look, they've got football on, and they've got live music. Well, Liverpool are playing, I need to find somewhere with the commentary. You need commentary when you watch your team, don't you? A few other bars up there. Done a video from there earlier on. We'll see if it's any busier later on. A bit dark here, actually. I'm just going up there around to the left and then I'm going all the way down uh, Bar Street into my luxury accommodation. Viewers, thanks so much for watching. Can't believe I nearly missed that. Some really nice places here. Hope you've enjoyed it anyway and um, don't forget on your way out. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. We'll see you on the next one. Check out all the videos in Ayanapa. I might be back at the Square Bar later on. Live music. We'll wait and see. Thanks, viewers.